What's up guys? So this is an update to Acceleration Boost. Uh, I purchased it today. Here we are. I'm gonna do instrumented testing with the Draggy. When I did it before I got AB, I had the app installed a long time ago and it didn't record the data properly. I got the video, but it couldn't get the data into the app. I fixed all that. So when I test it with the AB, with the Acceleration Boost, um, I should get full data. So it'll give me like zero to 30, what it'll be with the one foot rollout. The standard draggy time is without rollout, so like legit. Uh, so I'm curious to see what it is. I'm gonna try to get the same state of charge as last time and same place if possible. But I'm gonna try, hopefully I get it. But before I do that, I wanted to talk about like my first impressions and excuse me if this is handheld. Uh, I wanna get this down while it's still fresh in my mind because I just got it, been driving around a little bit, not so much doing pulls, but I wanna give you my impression on everything other than doing pulls, right? Because one thing's like straight line speed, zero to 60 and whatnot, zero to 100 kph. But how is it to live with other than that? Like what is the difference? What is the change? So as you all know, when you uh, get a B, this changes, you get sport. Normally this is normal and chill and now it's sport and chill. So here's the deal. I, I really wish that instead of being sport and chill, it was chill, normal like before and sport. Uh, because there's a small problem and I'm gonna go on record and call it a problem. So with AB, the accelerator is much more responsive, <clears throat> which is cool, you know, for like when I wanna drive around like in a sporty fashion, but just going around town, I feel like it's, it's a little too touchy. So I'm only using like the top 10, 15% of the travel of the pedal. So like, instead of like going like, not like before I was going like very far, cause this is, you know, this car is pretty powerful. It's not even a performance. I had a performance in the past, a three. This is the all wheel drive. Um, as you saw in my previous video prior to AB, this particular car did 4.15 seconds without acceleration boost, zero to 60. Uh, so quite fast, right? It's a pretty fast car. Now it's even faster. The accelerator is much more, responsive now which again is it's great for like driving sporty and whatnot but just going around town it's not necessarily my favorite um uh, again i only get to use like the top 10 or 15 percent of the travel so i really have to modulate it very carefully because if i if i if i'm not paying attention i can request too much power very easily so like if, if i want to get like kind of like sporty probably going down like a third of the way whereas before i was going down like maybe 40 45 percent maybe up to half now it's way less than that so i really wish that didn't come with it i i, I like the option but i wish that here we had chill normal like before and sport right next to it even if that was the default that's super cool i don't want i don't want to go chill chill is like it neuters this car it turns it into uh not what i'm looking for right like so normal the way it was before was like the right mix it wasn't overly sporty i, I do want to have the sporty option that i have now but i do want to have that normal for around town without having to go to chill chill is like too chill for me i would never use that unless it's like I don't know, like low traction, like for safety or something like that. I've I've never had to use it. But like for the regular drive, just around town, like that's not for me. So I would never use that setting. So chill is like it doesn't exist, right? So right now I got normal replaced by sport. So really I lost what normal was, which I like the response of the pedal, the accelerator under normal. So that's a clear difference. So keep that in mind. I haven't seen this talked about much. Uh, everybody just focus on 0 to 60. I'm not even doing that in this video. I'm gonna do it on the follow-up video. And I'm, I'm excited for that, like super excited. I wanna see what this car can do. Cause again, this car stock beat like the Tesla advertised of 4.2 seconds. It did 4.15. So I wanna see what it does with AB. I, I may even like return AB just to kind of like pay very close attention to how it changes when I go back to normal and then maybe like purchase it again. And that's the last time I can do that. You can only like return it once. So I'm really gonna like focus on how it feels other than the zero to 60 and that kind of thing. It does feel, you know, more powerful and not just from a standstill, like from 30 miles per hour, from 40 miles per hour, from 20 miles per hour. It feels like there's more oomph now and uh, in a good way and it's noticeable. And you know, for me, it's 
totally worth the $2,000. Very excited to do the zero to 60, so stay tuned for that. I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'm gonna do this soon. So I wanna know what you wanna hear about. Tell me like your considerations, what you want me to focus on other than what I've already covered and other than the zero to 60 that I'm about to do. Anyway, so that's about it. You know, this is a quick first impressions. Yeah, so I'm, I like the power. I like the responsiveness. I feel that like this is the way this car should have been from the beginning. The only thing I'm not really happy with is that I lost that kind of like middle of the road accelerator pedal responsiveness. Uh, so I feel like it's a bit too aggressive now for just driving around town. Like I don't mind having the power available, right? Cause we all know like even in chill mode, I think technically you have all the power available, like if you floor it. So I, I do want to have the power available. I just don't want to have to use the very top of the accelerator pedal travel to do most of my driving. I want that to be a little thicker, a little fatter, right? So I want to have like more modulation over a longer travel, only like 30%, like maybe like up to 40%, like before it was still like, this is a fast car, so I only had to use like 30%, maybe 35, like a third, right? Well, I feel that now that one third that I would normally use to get around town, you know, for like normal driving, you know, in regular traffic, now like that's like a 20%, like maybe even less. So like, I can only use the very top, so like, I can't move my foot much. Yeah, that's the only kind of like disappointment so far. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm gonna keep driving, see if anything pops up. Do the testing, zero to 60, see how that goes. Uh, haven't taken it on the highway yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that is too. Like this car is like very strong already, so I, I wanna see if I can tell a difference at high speed. Like, so let's say I'm doing like 60, 65, can I like overtake somebody with authority? And I, I, I can't really do that. So I wanna see what the difference is. Uh, anyway, stay tuned again, please hit that subscribe bell icon like if you want to see more content i go in depth i cover things that most people don't i just do it for fun right so uh but i do need your support so if you do enjoy this kind of content just show your appreciation so that the algorithms motivate to do more of these videos all right so additional thoughts uh wanted to make it part of this video so one thing i really wish that they would have included with the sport mode is stronger regen. We got stronger acceleration, much more sensitive accelerator pedal. Now with that, I wish I had more regen because uh, that would have really made it feel sportier, right? So I'll keep the normal, which is gone right now. Uh, I want the normal with the current regen, but then if you give me the sport acceleration mode, give me stronger regen with that. Other thing that I just realized it AB does completely change the character of the car. Like it feels like a, like a different car, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go on record with that. Uh, it feels like a different car. It's a lot more enjoyable. Uh, it, it's, it gets up to speed easier, which is crazy to say because it was doing that before too. So, you know, again, I had a performance as well. This feels a lot more like that. So it just has more authority. It was always effortless, but now it's even more effortless to, uh, to get up to cruising speed. Not, not like super crazy fast or anything, just like whatever, like 40, 50, whatever. Uh, it just gets there real quick, but effortlessly, like smoothly. And it was doing that before too, so it's hard to explain the feeling, but the, the character of the car has changed. So I'm 85% happy with it. Again, my main complaint is I wish I could have kept that normal mode with the additional power for like daily driving and have the sporty with stronger regen if possible. Yeah, so if you do enjoy these videos, please show your appreciation so that the YouTube algorithm encourages me to make more of these videos. Thanks.